first thing we're going to do is add some filters. So we're going to go to data, filter, and we now have filters. I want you to filter the class number for class 5. That's all we want to see. So we're going to unselect these, check off class 5. And we'd now like to go to cell A46. We're going to add in the subtotal function. And we are wanting to count the number of students in class 5. So we are going to start by doing equals, subtotal, and the reason we're using subtotal is because it will only count, uh, it will count filtered data. When just using the count function, that will not work. We're going to want to count, and for column 5, that's going to be A6 through A44. So I'm going to do a comma, A6, A44. And it tells me I have seven students in class five. I was one cell off. I, I should have started at A5. So I went ahead and changed that in my formula bar. The formula bar is nice for that because the result shows up down here. But you can go to the formula bar and make changes later. 